New tonight, Hampton is working to be the next city to try to cash in on sports tourism. The city is considering building a state-of-the-art aquatic center at the corner of Pine Chapel Road and Coliseum Drive. Today they announced they already have a company interested in doing the job. And 10 on your side's Brett Hall joins us with a first look at what they've proposed, Brett. Now, first and foremost, this is not a done deal by far. And more companies can still weigh in on their own ideas. But one thing is for sure. The city will be using some of your tax dollars if they choose to pursue this to make it all happen. There is a new vision for this parking lot in Hampton. Over the summer, a design build team led by Newport News based construction company Clancy and Thays submitted a proposal to build a nearly 42,000 square foot aquatic center here. It would feature an Olympic sized pool with over 1,000 seats. There would also be a 25 yard pool, locker rooms, and a whirlpool. All our amenities the Hampton City Council has said in the past they would like to see. And from the sound of it, Hampton Roads Chamber Chair Brian Stevens says it would be unlike anything else currently in the region. I could tell you ostensibly we're very supportive of it. He says the sports tourism industry is only growing. If Hampton goes ahead with the project, Stevens believes we could certainly see an economic boost in all of Hampton Roads. You're going to attract. Uh, swimming venues, USAA swimming titles, uh, you know, maybe, certainly uh, we run the AAU Junior Olympic Games every year. We could certainly use that aquatic center for the swimming events. But will the cost be worth it? While the latest proposal's cost estimate isn't public, the latest information released by the city estimated the price tag to be anywhere from 18 to $23 million to build. Now, when the council voted to move forward late last year on this, Hampton Mayor Tuck was skeptical about the moving forward because he says he wanted to see the greater economic return on already existing facilities before going ahead with this one. Now, other companies also still have the option to submit their own ideas until mid-December. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.